Welcome back traders. Thanks for joining me here today. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Dynamic Linear Regression Channels Indicator, plus EMA 200, to detect market trade opportunities based on my strategy, and I'll backtest the market history with my strategy. To apply this trading indicator, search the keywords Dynamic Linear Regression Channels, and select the EP version by Erevin on TradingView's Community Scripts folder. And search the keywords EMA 200. For dynamic linear regression channels, the parameter settings must default. And for Emma, I'll change the color with white color. To determine the shape of the market, we only need to see whether the chart is above or below the 200 Emma line. If the chart is above the 200 Emma, then we agree that our opportunity is only to enter the market in a long position. Otherwise, if the chart is below 200 EMA, then our opportunity to enter into the market in a short position. In the Dynamic Linear Regression Channels Indicator, there are three lines, upper end price, end price, and lower end price, where these lines determine a parameter to help us determine when we should enter the market and when we should exit. Some of the experiments that I have done, among others, is to determine where it is time for us to enter in a long position and in a short position. First condition, if the chart penetrates the lower line, or we call lower end price towards the top, at the same time we see that the chart is above the 200 EMA line, then we can enter a long position. Second condition, if the chart penetrates the upper line, or we call it upper end price, heading down, and at the same time we see that the chart is below the 200 EMA line, then we can enter a short position. Third condition, when we are still in a long or short position, and the 200 EMA crosses the chart, then we can close all existing trades. For example, when we are still in a long position, suddenly the 200 EMA crosses, all existing long positions must be closed. The same goes for short positions. To determine the exit position, other than when the 200 EMA position crosses the opposite, here, I also determine that the exit position must be at the end price, or the middle line, and for stop loss you can apply a 1-2 risk reward ratio. The following are the results I got using the TradeView tester strategy with the BTC USDT market. You can see for yourself the results, where the best results were obtained with the 4 hours time frame with a percent profitable rate of 60%, and net profit raised 279% with an initial capital of 100. Total trades 153, number of winning trades 93, losing trade 61. Largest winning trade 37.54 USD and largest losing trade 24.66 USD. That's the result. Maybe you can do a test with different parameters like I did and maybe you can get better results than this. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like videos and comments. You can ask anything or discuss in the comments column.